Monday morning grocery shopping. In with the new. Hi. About to do our big monthly grocery shop. A lot of monthly things though. We, we did good. In with the new. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video, and welcome back to my channel. If my face is new to your screen, my name is Lauren, and welcome to my channel. And I hope you stick around. So, this is going to be my first attempt at a week vlog. We're gonna test it out, see how it goes, if I can keep up with it so obviously it won't be as in detail as like my day vlogs or I don't even think I've done many of those or my weekend vlogs the reason why I wanted to take you on this week is because Bronson is going away and also my sisters there's wedding dress fittings or try on so there's a lot of exciting stuff happening this week which is why I wanted to take you along for a whole week so it is Monday morning it is actually Monday afternoon at the moment but so far we woke up, we went to the gym this morning, um, we went grocery shopping and I got a phone contract as you can see, look at me, living enough in, in life. I still need to get a cover and a screen protector, don't worry, that is on the agenda for today because it's my precious and I need to look after this baby. I feel so nervous having such a fancy phone with this responsibility because in the past I've always had my contract on my mom's name and she's paid for it and I've never always had the best phone I've always had like a decent phone in the range now I have the s21 ultra 5g like the main kunane and I'm not gonna lie it's so nerve-wracking because I've never had to pay a thousand rand for a phone contract but honestly I need to have this phone because I'm on my phone 24 7 obviously with content creating and now Obviously, this is in a life update segment. Um, I work for Swell Pro South Africa, which is the company my boyfriend Bronson has and his business partner. And then I also do um, marketing and media for Duvan Fish. So I'm constantly on my phone and need a adequate phone that doesn't die every three hours. So that was my, you know, the reasoning as to why I needed such a fancy phone. It is already half past one, showered, no makeup. This is literally how it looks. Just sitting here at my dining room table, got my laptop, and for the next three hours, I need to do some Swell Pro and Duvan Fish work now. That's gonna be me, and I will check in with you later. So it's been a little bit and 
I'm going to eat. I've made myself this concoction thing. I'm not too sure what it's going to taste like. Bronson says it looks manky. So it's basically the truly good cauliflower noodles. And then I put mushrooms, spinach, onions, and then I tried to make it like a creamy sauce, like a creamy sauce. So I added avo and fat-free cottage cheese to like make it a creamy white sauce. But I don't know if it's gonna come out. So looks disgusting. He says it looks disgusting. So let's give it a taste. You always say my food looks disgusting, and then you taste it and you say it's nice. Looks disgusting. Let's get a little bit of everything on. So we've got spinach, we've got mushroom, noodles. I like, I enjoyed. I think it obviously would taste a lot better if I added like chicken and wanted to make like a more proper white sauce. But for quick and easy food, this is really yummy. So yeah. We're gonna eat this now and then we need to start packing soon because Bronson is leaving tomorrow on a work trip for four days and only coming back on Friday So we need to pack and get him ready and then have dinner. So that is the plan for the rest of today The weather outside looks so bad Look at it Okay, you ready to pack so I'm just gonna sit here and then I'm going to be a um, safety manager and just make sure you pack everything you need to. Everything. Where's your pajamas? Are you going to sleep I'm baby next to you? Okay, for toiletries. Are you excited for your trip, love? I'm very excited. Cool. Good morning, guys. So it is Tuesday morning. It's a public holiday and we are on our way to the airport. I'm dropping Bronson off at the airport. He's got a flight out and he's going on a business trip for the next three days. And he's only going to be back on Friday, so I'm home alone. And yeah, today's plans, I'm basically just dropping him off at the airport this morning and then we've got a really exciting day, which I'm so excited to take you along with. We are going wedding dress shopping for my sister, so it's going to be a really exciting day. You're this light. I literally just woke up, sorry guys. But yeah, so that is the plan for the day. Oh, look how hilarious this is. So obviously the other day the wind was really strong or something. Check there. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Off. The display airplane blew off. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this bride to be sashi. So you get the sash and it's white because you put your and we'll pretend that you're a virgin. <laughs> okay, and then we've all got team bride and then what we're gonna do for you is we've got little thingy cards and then when you come out, we're gonna rank your dress from one to 10. Jeez, put me under pressure. <laughs>
so place number one is done and now we are on to our second location which is Lorette Designs Lorette Designs so yeah going pretty well even though we're harsh on her I think she needs it but she agrees so yeah going well on to location number two so I'm back home now so it's been a little bit since we spoke it is actually now just gone past half past five so as I showed you wedding dress was very successful um, we got the dress um, we're just waiting on quotes to have it a little bit changed but I'm not going to tell you which dress we chose um, you can actually leave comments in this video if you like of which was your favorite dress but there was not a the dress we had to kind of like switch and swap around a few things and add details to a dress that we liked the most so yeah i just got home had some lunch and was busy working on my laptop i'm busy designing a catalog for swell pro and duvan fish so i've just been doing some work and now it's half past five so all of well the two employees that we uh, have left now I'm actually going to have a pre-workout and gym. I'm trying to get steps in at I'm um, only on 2,000 steps for the day and I need to get my steps in because I want to increase my cardio a bit because last week I over ate of it and just gained like a kilogram probably. I'm not going to weigh myself but I can just obviously from knowing what I eat and um, my normal diet or my normal eating regime I ate way above so I'm just going to compensate for it this week and add a little bit more cardio and make sure to get my steps in because I don't want to adjust my eating and feel like I'm starving myself so I'll rather just increase my activity level so yeah that is the plan for the rest of the day I'm going to go have a pre-workout now I'm going to gym then I'm going to come home have a bath have some dinner watch some series and take it easy and then tomorrow is another big working day so if i don't see you a little bit later i will chat to you tomorrow morning guys happy wednesday so as you can see of how i look i literally just woke up today is going to be a typical day in my life of recent so first things first, um, in the morning we I normally wake up with Bronson and we go for our gym session from half past six to half past seven and then we got, get on with our day. But because he's out um, of office at the moment, I wake up a little bit later. So it is now half past seven and I'm going to go hit a gym session now and then straight after that I'm going to come home, shower, get dressed and then my plan for the day is our base hat basically oh you can see i'm still half asleep so i'm aiming to work from half past nine ten till about three and then i have to take toby in for a haircut and then hopefully i can finish a little bit early today so that i can wash and clean all my brushes because tomorrow angie and i are having to do our project for um beauty school so that is the plan for today. For today, it's going to be like a normal day in my life: gym, work, and run errands. And then normally, 
I would love to get filming done and content for myself but it seems like with my new schedule and my new life update I don't get to do a lot of that hence why I decided to do more vlogging type um, videos and as well to focus more on YouTube because I can't post every day on social media. So that's also just a little bit of a life update if you guys wondered why I was a little bit, oh, I look so bad. Guys, you guys, if, if I'm gonna do this vlog thing, you're gonna have to get used to how I look in the morning. So that is why I'm not able to post so frequently anymore. But yeah, let's get on with our day, have a pre-workout, head to the gym and get some work done. So I will check in with you a bit later. Let's get you ready to go to the parlor. I just dropped my dog off at Top Dog and I literally want to cry like um, normally I take my Toby to a lady in warmer but we have to book like so far in advance I booked last month and the first available appointment was only in July so it was like a four month wait and his hair is just growing too long so we had to look for somewhere else and we just took, I just dropped him off at Top Dog. And normally he's so excited to go in and play with the dogs at um, the place where he goes. Like he loves going for cuts. And he was like chunking and I had to drop him off. And I'm sorry, there's nothing worse. Like, I'm, like I've never experienced my dog like act the way he is and he's so scared. Like I almost wanted to say like, okay, no, we're not doing this. And I don't know, I just, we'll see how he comes out but like i'm just not happy about dropping him off here like i don't know if i should just go back inside and fetch him mm, i'm not a happy dog mama at the moment we'll pick him up later and see how he looks but back to work back to the drawing board i've been sitting working at my desk and it's now half past two and i'm gonna go back and continue working and then we'll fetch him a bit later how's my hair do look guys how's my hair look how's my hair do look how do I look? How do I look? So guys, we are back from the parlor and by the looks of it, they didn't do a bad job. The hair job or the hair cut itself came out really good. Well, not really good. I would say obviously not as good as what I'm used to, but it's not a terrible cut. It's just that I wouldn't take him there again because the experience was just traumatizing for the both of us. So note to self, if you guys are in Port Elizabeth and you need your dog groomed, Paws and Claws is the only place where I would recommend where I drop my dog off, he's excited to go there and when he sees me, he's excited to see me, they are just the best over there. Yes, you pay more money but it's so worth it and if you just schedule your dog with enough time in advance, it's more than worth it because I will not be going through that experience again. So yeah, it is almost 5 o'clock now. I am still sitting at my desk doing some work and then I'm going to make some stir fry for my mom and myself for dinner. So today was a pretty boring day, but tomorrow we've got some more exciting things happening. So yeah, let's finish up with work, have some dinner and then on to tomorrow. Okay, so for to dinner tonight, I'm just going to make a stir fry because it's just my mom and I. I tried to find um, some cauliflower noodles or pumpkin noodles, but I didn't find any. So I'm just going to do this julienne like stir fry situation. I'm also going to add in some coleslaw because obviously to just give some more volume. And then I am busy actually. So to make your chicken a little bit more, how can I say, tender, like the Chinese way, actually add some corn flour. So yeah, I'm just whopping up a really quick and easy chicken stir fry for my mom and I for dinner tonight.
So we've got some velvet chicken. We have a cocker spaniel that's needy. Oh. And then we've got a nice, gorgeous, quick and easy stir fry mix going up. And Doesn't look that is my final healthy dinner. It's a little bit too healthy, I must admit myself. Like there's lacking definitely some sort of starch, but I'm not that hungry and I know that I need to fuel my body. So this is just perfect for what I need and what my body is craving at the moment. So some stir fry and chicken. My Thursday morning post-workout brekkie. This one is basically the same as the one in my previous vlog. This is just a blueberry and vanilla version of it. Yummy. So guys, this is my before and Angie over here, the beautiful Angie, is going to do my face and it's just going to look 10 times better. So yeah, let's do it. and happy Friday so we are going to start this Friday so far I've woken up I was gonna gym and then I didn't feel like it so I didn't do that so I'm just gonna give it a rest day because I did gym Monday to Thursday so today is going to be a rest day I am busy getting dressed and ready I'm gonna fetch Bronson from the airport I'm gonna go pick up some donuts because I haven't had donuts in a very very long time and I want donuts so Let's get ready and get on with the day. So I am dressed and ready. I don't even know what I'm wearing to be honest. I wanted to wear this dress, but it's really, really shitty weather outside. I think I must, I should probably put this belt over the jacket as well to cinch in my waist because this dress is like a really baggy dress. But yeah, that is going to be the outfit for today. And as you can see, I still haven't cleaned up that mess behind me. So I'm going to start cleaning up that mess. But it's almost time to go fetch my donuts. But also, I dress for the occasion of eating donuts. As you can see, loose dress so that I can eat as much as I want. started getting my room cleaned um, not even made it in but I'm hungry so we are going to go and get our donuts and, and we got the donuts we are gonna go cut in open into them one is always Nutella fold and one is normally custard fold and our standard order is normally four donuts I eat two and Bronson eats two it's like our sweet treat for the week and these things are huge it's like the size of my face so let's do the cut test and see what we're looking at inside because if the filling is good on the inside and super filled up and creamy then we know we're in for a good donut okay so let's cut into the custard first that is super filled so this is custard filled it looks really really fresh and yummy Let's cut into the Nutella fold now to see how that looks on the inside. The donut that we created last year in lockdown. Really, really full. Okay, now I'm excited to eat them. Let's tuck in and enjoy donuts. taste the Nutella one but the filling looks like it looks like a mousse mm. now I'm eating my second donut I'm gonna probably feel a bit sick afterwards and then we're gonna go fetch Bronson all this time I've been feeling hopeless till you came around came around 
All this time You're the only reason I'm not chasing highs Chasing highs What is love? Did you miss me, love? No No, I thought I'd miss you I'm glad you So much Me, so apparently he's taking me to Suki Which is our new favourite restaurant for dinner tonight So I'm really excited Dinner. You ready for dinner, love? Thank you.